Welcome to our exploration of farming practices around the world. Today, we'll uncover how different factors shape the way we grow our food, from the vast plains of North America to the terraced rice paddies of Southeast Asia, farming practices are as diverse as the landscapes themselves. Join me, Ahmed Butt, as we embark on a journey to understand the intricate tapestry of global agriculture. Over the course of this series, we will delve into the heart of farming communities, examining the challenges they face and the innovations they have developed. We will witness firsthand the delicate balance between tradition and modernity as farmers strive to feed a growing global population while safeguarding the environment for future generations. Our journey begins with a fundamental distinction in the world of farming subsistence versus commercial agriculture. Subsistence farmer, in many developing countries, particularly in rural areas, subsistence farming is a way of life. Here, families cultivate small plots of land, growing just enough food to feed themselves and their families. The crops they grow, such as rice, corn or vegetables, and the livestock they raise, perhaps a few chickens or a goat, are essential for their daily sustenance, commercial farmer. In stark contrast, commercial farming dominates the agricultural landscape of developed countries. Here, vast fields stretch as far as the eye can see, and technology plays a pivotal role. These farms operate like sophisticated businesses with a focus on maximizing yields and profits. Large-scale monoculture, where a single crop is grown over a large area, is common, and the produce is destined for markets far and wide. The contrast between these two farming systems highlights the complex interplay between economic development, technology and tradition in shaping agricultural practices. The crops that farmers cultivate are intricately linked to their environment, cultural traditions and economic considerations. In the tropics, where the sun beats down with relentless intensity, farmers have mastered the art of growing exotic fruits like bananas, mangoes and pineapples. These fruits thrive in the warm, humid conditions, adding a burst of flavour to the local diet and providing a valuable source of income. As we move away from the equator, the climate changes and with it the crops that define a region's agricultural identity. In the temperate zones with their distinct seasons, farmers cultivate staple crops like wheat, corn and barley. These grains form the backbone of global food security, providing essential carbohydrates to billions of people. Beyond environmental factors, cultural preferences and culinary traditions also play a significant role in shaping crop selection. In some regions, farmers dedicate their land to growing culturally significant crops, such as the aromatic spices of India or the delicate tea leaves of China. Just as crop cultivation varies across the globe, so too do the methods of livestock rearing. In developed countries, intensive livestock farming is common. Here, animals such as chickens, pigs and cattle are often raised in confined spaces with their feed, temperature and lighting carefully controlled to optimize growth and production. While this system maximizes efficiency, it has also raised concerns about animal welfare and the environmental impact of concentrated waste. Livestock farmer. In contrast, extensive livestock farming, often found in developing countries, relies on animals grazing on open pastures. This system, while less intensive, is often better suited to the local environment and allows animals to roam more freely. However, it can be less productive in terms of output per animal. The choice of livestock also varies widely based on cultural preferences, religious beliefs, and environmental suitability. In India, for example, cows are considered sacred and are primarily kept for dairy products, while in many parts of Asia, pigs are a staple source of protein. Technology is rapidly transforming the agricultural landscape, particularly in developed countries. Precision farming, guided by satellites and sensors, allows farmers to monitor their fields with unprecedented detail, optimizing irrigation, fertilization, and pest control. Automated machinery from driverless tractors to robotic harvesters is reducing labor costs and increasing efficiency. Genetic engineering, while controversial, has also played a role in boosting crop yields and developing varieties resistant to pests and diseases. These technologies, while promising, are often out of reach for farmers in developing countries, highlighting the digital divide that exists within the global agricultural system. 
However, even in regions with limited resources, mobile phone technology is connecting farmers to information, markets, and each other. Mobile apps now provide weather forecasts, market prices, and even expert advice, empowering farmers with knowledge and tools to make informed decisions. Chapter 5. Who Owns the Land? Exploring Land Tenure Systems The ownership and control of land known as land tenure systems vary dramatically across the world, with profound implications for farming practices. In developed countries, large-scale commercial farms, often owned by corporations or wealthy individuals, dominate the agricultural landscape. These farms benefit from economies of scale, enabling them to invest in technology, access credit and negotiate favourable prices for their produce. In contrast, land ownership in developing countries is often fragmented, with small plots of land passed down through generations. This system, while promoting land ownership within communities, can pose challenges for modernization and efficient land use. In some regions, communal land ownership, where land is managed collectively, is practiced. This system, rooted in tradition and social cohesion, emphasizes shared responsibility and equitable access to resources. Understanding these diverse land tenure systems is crucial for developing policies that promote sustainable and equitable agricultural practices. Chapter 6. The Guiding Hand Government Policies and Agricultural Support Governments play a pivotal role in shaping agricultural practices through policies, regulations and support systems. In many countries, subsidies are provided to farmers to encourage the production of certain crops, stabilise prices and ensure food security. However, these subsidies can sometimes distort markets and have unintended environmental consequences. Environmental regulations such as those governing pesticide use or water management are essential for promoting sustainable agriculture. Labour laws, particularly those protecting the rights of farm workers, are crucial for ensuring fair wages and safe working conditions. Food safety standards, often enforced through inspections and certifications, are essential for protecting public health and ensuring consumer confidence in agricultural products. The effectiveness of these policies and regulations varies greatly across the world, highlighting the need for strong governance and international cooperation in addressing global agricultural challenges. Chapter 7. A Sustainable Future – Balancing Productivity with Environmental Stewardship As we look to the future of farming, the need to balance productivity with environmental sustainability has never been greater. Climate change is already impacting agricultural yields, with extreme weather events such as droughts, floods and heat waves becoming more frequent and severe. Farmers are on the front lines of adapting to these changes, adopting climate-smart practices such as drought-resistant crops, water conservation techniques and soil health management. In arid and semi-arid regions, irrigation systems have transformed barren landscapes into productive farmlands. However, over-reliance on irrigation can lead to water scarcity and soil salinization, requiring careful management and sustainable practices. Protecting biodiversity is also crucial for the long-term health of agriculture. Integrated pest management systems, which combine natural predators, crop rotation, and targeted pesticide use, are essential for reducing reliance on chemical inputs. By embracing sustainable practices, farmers can help mitigate climate change, conserve precious resources and ensure the long-term viability of our food systems. Outro a world fed. From the smallest subsistence farms to the largest commercial operations, agriculture is the foundation of our food system and a vital cornerstone of human civilization. Understanding these variations in farming practices is crucial for developing effective agricultural policies and strategies tailored to each region's unique needs and challenges. As we have journeyed across the globe, we have witnessed the ingenuity, resilience and deep connection that farmers have with the land. Their tireless efforts nourish our planet and sustain our growing population. Thank you for joining us on this journey around the world's farms. May it inspire us all to appreciate the vital role that agriculture plays in our lives and to support sustainable practices that will ensure a food-secure future for generations to come.